everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Sunday, September 1st, 2019. Free pick coming up in just a moment. August is behind us. We have our final Sunday without the NFL for a few months. Uh, we'll get to what we got going on for Sunday. First, a real quick note on what happened on Saturday. Uh, we end up one and two in college football. It was a tough way to go one and two because we looked like a real nice two and one. We had Northwestern as that deciding game on whether going one and two or two and one. I don't know if you guys got a chance to see it. That was certainly a bad beat. Uh, we were getting six, six and a half. Uh, they were trailing by three, 20 seconds to go in the game, fumble the football. Stanford's defense runs it back for a touchdown, and that cost us as far as the spread was concerned, and it turned two and one into one and two. But you know, only three plays on Saturday, opening week of college football, and that's kind of the way we do it. We don't normally have a lot of plays week one because these lines have been out there you know, for a month and longer in some cases. But uh, we start a new, brand new, normal week of football lines, of course, in college football kicking off this coming week and Sunday next Sunday we'll be talking about week one in the NFL and of course the season in the NFL kicks off on Thursday so last year again number one in college football and NFL combined that included an opening week losing week in college football and then we tore it up after that for the most part uh, but number one in college football in the NFL last year about 60 percent against the spread college and pro football combined and we look to rack it up and do it again in 2019 now uh, there is a game on Sunday, Houston and Oklahoma. I don't have a play on the game. I was kind of thinking about a free pick on the team total Houston over, uh, but decided to go ahead and pass on that. I think this is going to be a great game to take some notes, to watch, to learn. Uh, first of all, about the Houston passing game. You've got a really good quarterback in King. You've got an excellent receiving core. And also about that Oklahoma pass defense, which was atrocious last year, to say the least. The pass defense for the Oklahoma Sooners, giving up over, what, 450 yards per game last year. Uh, they hope to be better. They expect to be better. So to watch that pass defense against a quality Houston passing game is going to be interesting. I don't think the Sooners will have any problem at all on the offensive side of the football, but we'll see if their defense has uh, gotten a little bit better uh, since last season. So I think it's a game we can learn some positive or some decent stuff on both of these teams and maybe some negative stuff about both that we can use going forward. I'll be writing down notes throughout the course of that football game. My free pick is from baseball on Sunday. We'll get to that in just a moment moment, but over at DocSports.com on Sunday. Got a big play in the WNBA. We won again on Saturday. We had Dallas plus the points. They covered the spread. That's three straight wins. That's 11-3 and three with our last 14, and that's now 37-18-2 and two with our last 57 WNBA picks. Don't miss out on Sunday's WNBA. It'll be posted at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Major League Baseball will be in action on Sunday, and that'll be posted at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Go grab both plays on Sunday's card. Let's get to the free pick for Sunday. We do turn to baseball ask action. It's the Brewers and the Cubs. Cubs got the win on Friday. Brewers got the win yesterday on Saturday. But listen, Milwaukee's offense still not producing a lot. They only scored two runs on Saturday, but they got a great game from the pitching staff. They held the Cubs scoreless at Wrigley, no less, and got the win 2 nothing. But I expect the Cubs to get on the board of this one enough to give you Darvish the help that he needs in this game to win this game for the Chicago Cubbies. And listen, uh, as far as the Cubs at home, you know how well they've done on this season. So it's rare for this team uh, to lose a game, let alone two in a row. But look at you, Darvish, uh, crazy numbers. We talked about this guy about six weeks ago when he started to turn around his strike to walk ratio. He was horrible first portion of the year. Now you can't get a walk out of the guy. His last six games, you, Darvish, has 51 strikeouts and only one walk. 51 to one strikeout to walk ratio over his last six games. Then you look at three of his last four home games. He's been outstanding in three of those games. He had one rough outing against the San Francisco Giants. The other three games in that mix at Wrigley, he gave up a grand total of one combined earned run. I think he's going to be on, on uh, I should say, I think he's going to be on his game at Wrigley on Sunday. And I think he's going to hold this Milwaukee uh, offense down. Milwaukee, again, struggling to the plate. Only two runs yesterday. Only one run on Friday night. And I think you Darby should get the best of them on Sunday to get the victory for the Cubbies at Wrigley. So our free pick on Sunday is the Chicago Cubs at home with Darvish over the Milwaukee Brewers. All right, that's going to do it for us for Sunday. Hope you like these videos. If you do, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Let's put Sunday in the win column. We'll be right back here Monday, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.